I'm the chairperson now of Save Our Skibreen, which is the group who are organising and coordinating a campaign to try and generate public awareness and opposition, I suppose, to this specific development, but not just opposition for the sake of opposition. It's to see that there's a much better future for Skibreen. We have so much going for us here. It doesn't have to be building a plastics factory, you know, when the whole world is against plastic. When people hear about it, it's a much more concern to just us living in the area. It's a concern to Skibreen Town, to the future generations and to the whole West Cork area. It's not just a small thing. And I think it's good. I've never been involved in a campaign like this before, but it's good to be involved in something that you believe in. And, you know, I've got four young children and they're asking me, is this going to be built? What are we going to do? And like, so, you know, I'm very concerned. I think for people in our community, um, if we're not here today, then we're underestimating the impact that a plastics factory could have on somewhere like West Cork. Um, our leading industries here are tourism and the fisheries and farming, and it could have a potentially detrimental impact on all of those industries. If these local people who formed Saver Skibreen hadn't formed the organisation together, um, the plastics factory would be going ahead at the moment, so it just goes to show the importance and fair play to them. I just think for such a beautiful area that has so much going for it uh, and it's so in some ways undervalued and I don't know if people appreciate compared to other parts of the world how good a place this is to live and the idea that a privately owned company could come in and poison the waterways, the air, the environment and also harm all of the jobs that are here is it's just unbelievable to me. It's, it's just something that I could not get involved.